Hey guys, we're live. They're training right now. Ayal's here from Israel uh, teaching active shooting. Uh, let's check it out. understand which hand is really holding the gun. Okay. So in this case, if I'm going to grab, I try to grab the wrist and the hand that are holding the gun. And of course the gun. So if you have finger inside, what will happen if I will turn? If I will rotate this cup here, the whiskey may be good. Hopefully you can see. Guys, just be sure that you can see what, what's happening here. And if you can get closer, it will be different. So the finger is in the, on the trigger guard, yeah, inside the trigger guard, it's on the trigger. So when I grab and I do something like this, it's stuck because the finger is inside. Is it clear? You see the finger? You see what? Could you point the finger for me? Yes, you see it's inside. So what happens now, I cannot take the gun away. So what to do? First of all, kick. It's it. And then take it out. So let me show something. When you are taking the gun, I'm not here, yes? When you take the gun to this side, then almost always, let's do water, almost always, we will, this will happen, and you see how the thumb is being bent, and that's the situation. So it's really out. When you try to take the gun to the other side, it's one, it's still in. So then what you do is you do one, and then you do two, it's pulling it out, per perpendicular to the hand. So one, two is the principle. And usually it has to be softened yeah, if he's holding strong. Most of the time, when you hold and you surprise the person, he doesn't hold very strong. So over, the truth is, m much more than 50% of situations when you grab and, and take gun, it's in your hand very, very easily, even without striking. But we do need to strike sometimes. So with the technique includes strikes. So if I catch him like this and I kick him, I have to do one, two stages of technique. So this was the rotation. This was the rotation. That's the disarming. And of course, you can continue and move out. Is that clear? So it ta, ta, rotate, rotate, pull. Now when you don't have a finger inside just for the safety of the training, you can have the grab like the hold like this, it doesn't feel right, but it's safe. It doesn't feel the same, but it's safe. So you can do this one, or do slowly and lightly when there is finger inside the trigger guard. Questions? Don't do this one, please. This don't do. This can jam your finger a bit more if you're not flexible, especially. So either here or here. Either in the trigger guard or everything is holding the hand. Thank you. Thumb on the other side of the finger. Yes, this is for me. Of course you are. You also want to get in front. So, and then bring your shoulder here. That way the gun is facing that way. Yeah. Now pull the gun. Don't record me, man. My hero! <laughs> Make sure 
sugar. Oh, okay. Nice job. That was good. Got the gun first. Gun, not arm first. Hold the gun, so I can't take it. You're stuck. So if I try to do this one, now he's pulling the gun. And then I'm in trouble. Okay. What is the yeah. idea? If, I, if, I, if you feel me, hold stronger. Okay. Video magic, we're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're live. How is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, yeah. You said we're live? This is live. Oh, perfect. I don't want to like it, but I can't. <laughs> Point the gun at me, you got this. Don't sit. Nice. Okay, guys, the next one. Up here. So now, she's, she's my host. Okay. So, the, the problem what to do when the person, the attacker, has maybe the gun on you, but sometimes he has got the gun on other people. person is doing this. He's intimidating the victim, obviously, but the victim is under control and the victim is usually so scared. And then he wants to make a point. And he's using the, this piece of steak that is called brook at this moment. <laughs> he's using this piece of steak. It's just a resource for this person, right? It's sort of a shield near the body. And with this, he's intimidating and manipulating the minds of the other people 
So the other people, whoever they are there, will do what he's telling. That's a simple answer to that situation. Is this clear? Okay. And many times situations like this are really for a long time happening. The incident is long time. And we know situations that two, three, four, and more hours a situation like this. Many opportunities to overcome the attacker if you know something. Uh, so what to do? There's a little bit of a similar principles to what we just did. Yes? So the attacker is like this. I just want you to be there so you can see better what I'm doing. So he's behind me. He's holding me with a hand like this. And the gun is on other people. Is this clear? That's the problem. So just to make it clear, I can do the technique in this case. In this case, there are solutions in the system. But we're not talking about this one at the moment. We're talking about gun is on somebody else. Stabilizing, not much more. The other hand, thumb up, is definitely preferred. Elbow is up, and you're rotating the body inside the grip. Most of the time, it's really easy. You're practically bringing the chest to the arm. This is clear? And at this moment, he didn't get any attack. Maybe he got startled, but he didn't get any attack. Many times I can take, but not all the time. So what can I do now? How can I attack the person now? How can I attack? The headbutt is one option. And yes, he's holding by the neck, but I can make lambada with my pelvis. <laughs> so I can do something with my knee. 